Hi, I'm Claudia Vell, a beauty studio artist with Sephora in San Francisco. Thanks to your comments, this video is inspired by your requests. I'm gonna start off with my favorite foundation and this is the Givenchy Tonte Couture in Elegant Beige, shade four. This is my obsession. Not only does it smell amazing, it feels like silk on the skin. I use my fingers to apply it directly on my face. I get more use and more of a skin-like finish using my fingers this way. It's a semi-matte finish and it's buildable coverage from medium to full. The way I apply it is where I want the most coverage first, then I do my freckles last, shearing it out. So now I'm using my damped beauty blender. So if you notice, I'm not dragging the beauty blender onto my skin. I'm bouncing it to give that airbrush effect. Also, if you drag it, it's going to press the foundation into texture and pores and actually wipe off coverage. Then we end up wasting it and add more. So the next step is Laura Mercier Secret Concealer in shade two. I love this product because not only is it hydrating, it's color correcting. So if you notice the tones underneath my eyes, we don't wanna just lighten and brighten it. We wanna completely cancel it out. So that's why I love this color corrector from Laura Mercier because it has that peachier tone to neutralize everything and preps for the next concealer step. And the product that I'm using is Bare Minerals and the Bare Skin Concealer. The shade that I'm using is Shade Light. Not only does it conceal redness, but it also helps to enhance and highlight features. So now I'm gonna contour, bringing out my features. And I'm using Becca's Low Light and Highlight Cream Palette. I'm using Sephora Pro Angled Brush in number 49. I apply it right to the hollow of my cheekbone and not passing the end of my eye in which it'll drag down and age the face. Stopping here at the end of my eye will help lift and enhance my cheekbones. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit more onto my brush, blending it down the side of my nose, a little bit down my jawline. And if you notice, I'm blending downwards to not have a harsh straight line. And a little bit more onto my forehead. This is one of my favorite tricks to do is take a little bit of that product and squeeze your brush like this, place it onto your crease of the eye and swiping it into the temple. It's going to help a color contrast and also help lift that area. So now taking the highlight from this palette, using my finger, placing it and dabbing it onto my high points of my cheekbones and my brow bones. And for a more highlighted contrast, I love to put it in the inner corner of my eyes, down my nose and above my lip where the cupid's bow is. It gives a poutier look. Now I'm using Laura Mercier's translucent powder, locking everything that we just did. Those liquids and creams, we wanna make sure that it stays put. So I use my beauty blender that's damped and use the round side of it, taking a little bit on there. What I love to do is pat it onto my palm so that it helps melt the powder into the beauty blender so that when I place it onto my skin and I set my makeup, it's not going to give this very powdery look. It's just gonna give that velvety smooth skin-like finish. So next, one of my favorite bronzers is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. And this is in shade 20M. The brush that I'm using is Sephora Pro's Precision Powder Brush in 59. So I'm literally just dusting this where the sun would naturally kiss your skin. And if you notice, I'm dusting it on and I'm not sculpting with it because then it'll just leave a very harsh orangey line and we don't want that. So just dusting it all over in the placements like this. So I'm using this Hourglass blush and this shade is Dim Infusion. I love how it's very pigmented, but it has those cream swirls to make it still soft and subtle. Using my same brush that I use with my bronzer, number 59, taking a little bit of it and placing it at the apple of my cheek. Not smiling, because once you don't smile, it drags down. So measuring it from the end of the eye, but still onto the apple of the cheek and dusting it upwards. That will give that beautiful lift and that pop of color. The trick that I absolutely love, anything that you put on your cheeks, place at the crease of the eye and into the temple, because that gives that 
color contrast, and that perfect lift. Now moving on to my eyes, I'm using NARS Velvet Shadow Stick. This is in shade Hollywood Land. Just swiping it onto my lid and blending it out with my finger. Now that I have the perfect neutral base, I'm diving right into my favorite neutral eye palette by Laura Mercier, and this is the Eye Art Artist Palette. Just going in with this lighter shade, Fresco, using my Sephora Pro Crease Brush in number 10. And now defining a little bit more of my outer crease using this deeper shade, Truffle. Now defining my lash line with Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner in shade Demolition. This is a perfect dark matte brown. I'm creating a soft smudgy line using the technique of dashes in between my lashes. To achieve that soft smoky liner, I'm using Bobbi Brown's Ultra Fine Brush and using both shades, Truffle and Espresso Bean from the Laura Mercier palette and just perfecting the line. This tapered brush really helps diffuse the shadow to create a soft, subtle wing. Creating a little bit more of a balance to the eye, I love taking a lighter shade, and this one is in shade Bamboo, and blending it down to the lower lash line. I could go on and on about this mascara, and it has such a silly name, but it's one of the most amazing mascaras to me. It's Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. The formula is so lightweight that it helps lift the lashes, and the brush, it looks a little crazy and it'll look like it'll clump your lashes, but it truly gives you the best volumized look to the lashes. And it's a rich black, and I could put so many coats, which as you see I am, and it'll just give me that perfect feathery effect. To build even more volume and intensity to my lashes, I'm obsessed with this new Sephora collection, Lux Lashes. So I make sure that I measure my lashes before I glue them to make sure that they're altered to my eye shape. And you already know how much I love this mascara, so I put on another top coat of it to help mend with my false lashes. To help complete this eye look and frame my eyes, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel to help make them stay in place. And to complete this look, I'm using Bite Beauty's Matte Cream Lipstick in shade Cognac. Using the very tip to outline and the very side to shade in my lips. And last step to keep it in place, I'm blotting it off with a tissue. And this is the final look. I hope this answers your questions and I hope you enjoyed my personal tips and tricks. We love your feedback, so don't forget to comment down below and let us know what you'd love to see. We'll see you at Sephora. Bye.